G'day. My name's Gordon Deadman and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Survival. Today I'm in New Zealand, in the South Island, and I'm on a bit of a hike. I'm not sure how long I'm going for yet, but probably stop, have a cup of tea, and maybe have a fish, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So I hope you enjoy it. These forestry trails in uh, New Zealand are really well maintained and beautiful country. Very different to Australia, but however, there are some similarities as well, particularly with a lot of the ferns, the uh, soft tree ferns, the uh, Dixonia Antarctica. There's quite a few of those here, and it's um, typified by ferns, actually, lots and lots of them. Beautiful. It's one of the soft tree ferns that typifies the New Zealand bush. Absolutely beautiful. Like all of these ferns, most of the growing tip of them are edible, but in doing so, you kill the plant. Very same, similar species, uh, Dixonia antarctica, soft tree fern in Australia, is exactly the same. A nice salt water estuary. This is the top northern Australia, it would certainly have crocodiles, but it's not. So I could quite comfortably swim in there if I had to. I'm not going to, but good. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Be nice to throw a line in actually. Only needs to be a small fire, just enough to warm my, my billy, and that's it. The ground's a little bit damp here. And it's all green material. Always, I've got my cleared area. I'm just going to put a, a small platform of parallel six down as my base. Oop. Got some sort of uh, a lichen here that's going to come in handy for our fire lighting. all I need it just needs to be small it's only gonna be a very small fire I'm not gonna be here for very long I'm just gonna walk around and collect some other um, some kindling and some fuel mouthful of water first I've got a nice flat platform around that. I'm going to put my kindling. A little bit more of that. Okay, I've got some of this 
this lichen. I'm not sure what it's going to, um, how it's going to work, but to light it with, I'm just going to use the the fire striker or the flint on my uh, Mora Eldris, Maracnib Eldris. My neck knife, which is a great small knife to travel with. This one really gets great for carving. It's great for a lot of things, really. Um, and we'll give this a shot and see how this works. And I built this fire. I'll give you a closer look at this. As you can see what I've done, I've just built my platform down. I've got my water bottle on the top and I left a, a gap. And I'm going to light the fire in here. And then I've got all my um, sticks to put on the top of that. And I'll get that going. Not sure if we'll give this a go and see. It's quite coarse. This may not work, but we'll see how we go. I'm lighting it off the platform just so I can get really close. Yeah, she doesn't really want to take a flame. Goes out very quickly. There we go. Canteen, my clean canteen. This is a 20 ounce uh, flask, stainless steel, wide mouth top. Nice scouting size. doesn't need to be any larger than that, that's fine. Boiling away, I've got my brew kit which I take with me everywhere. And I'm going to prepare, I'm going to have a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. A little bit of powdered milk. and the Yorkshire tea bag. Because the wind's coming from this side, I need to probably have a little bit more fuel on this side to, um, if I need to make that boil faster. Only a slight breeze. encouraging that a little. Now that's just on the boil now and that's taken five minutes if that. So I've got a pair of gloves here I'm just going to lift that um, water off and we're going to make ourselves a cup of tea. It's another couple of minutes. If this was untreated water we'd need to boil this at the rolling boil for three, two to three minutes. But this is uh, clean water, so I don't have to do that. But if it was um, filtered water, to make it safe to drink, we'd need to boil it for two to three minutes at the rolling boil at sea level.
Always good to pack a pair of gloves. So I'll let that cool a little bit there. And I'm just going to tidy up this fire so it fully consumes itself. We don't want any bits of wood sticking out and I'll let that fully consume itself. So I've got my cup. This is a MSR titanium cup that fits these um, small, uh, or say the uh, narrow clean canteen 20 ounce uh, stainless steel bottles really well. And that's what I use as my scout kit, um, it's my scout kit when I'm just doing a light hike. <coughs> Bloody fly ran up my nose. After you've dunked your tea bag, the best thing to do to get rid of it, step on it, get rid of all the moisture from it, and you can stick it on the fire. My powder built. The only thing I have milk in is tea. I love almond milk. Taste rubbish in tea. All right. Cheers. Nice, uh, quick fire and a nice cup of tea. So I'm going to enjoy this. Then I'm going to clean up the fire after and leave no trace or ever we're ever here, and then continue on our hike. It hot first, so I'm going to let that cool down. As this is burning, I'm just moving the coals continually, and so it's going to end up just burning itself out, and there should be nothing left but ash. Well, we've let the fire die right down. I've been raking it over, letting it completely consume itself. Now, all I need to do is step on it. I'm crushing it. Just trying to get any, um, just trying to compress everything so there's no air pockets in there. And with the rest of them are water, but I didn't boil, um, I didn't drink, and I haven't got too far to walk back. I'm going to um, either tip it directly on there. Okay, I had to change the battery in the camera. But I've put some water on here. I need to, I can put a little more on. Now, I'd use creek water, um, there's plenty of that, but I've got another uh, litre of water in there, so I haven't got far to go. So, of course, if you're short on water, you wouldn't use this. You'd actually urinate in the fire, and it's actually one of the best ways to put the fire and conserve, um, conserve water. Best way, sorry, say again, it's one of the best ways to put the fire out and con conserve water at the same time. see no steam come out and that's just warm to the touch a little bit of heat left in the middle but it's just 
hot mud. Now this, I can now scatter around the place. And as long as I can pick it up in my hand, I know that it's cool enough to scatter. There's no way that's going to actually acting as fertilizer. Then once that's nice and cool, I can refurbish the whole lot. Try and blend it in. As you can see I've refurbished this whole area so I waited for it to completely cool um, and refurbished that so there's no sign that I was here and that's the way you should leave an area after after you finish so the next people that come across this area if they do um, there's no sign anyone else was here and I've looked after that fire had a very very small fire didn't take long to boil my water and have a cup of tea let it cool down properly consume itself fully let it go out put it out with some water or um, you'd urinate it on it if you were short of water, or you'd let it cool completely. And only when it's cool completely would you um, scatter the ash and then refurbish it. And that's the correct way to leave an area safely and so other people can enjoy it as well. I'm just going to pack up and we're going to continue on with our hike. Well, the pack I'm hiking with today is the Fial Raven Singy 28 litre pack. It's a really nice little day hike pack and um, it's actually good for a couple of days. I've actually used it a few times, very sturdily built and it's got two of the small side pouches. Um, really good little pack that's um, not too big, um, just good for day hikes and these are, you can take these off as well. So it's even smaller, actually you travel with this quite a bit. It's actually a really good size um, just for general traveling and you can fit all different things in it. So this is the uh, uh, Fial Raven Singy 28 litre. We're going to get on our way now and hike back uh, the way we came. Well, thanks for joining me on this short impromptu episode on my uh, little hike in New Zealand. I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again on the next episode of Bushcraft Survival.